Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Pepe TV Game Feature here on Pepe TV. And today I'm going to um, discuss about how to get unstuck when you are stuck leveling. So let me just show you an example here. I'm at level 68 and I've already completed all the quests until level 70. Actually, I've been stuck since level 67 and as you can see here on my quest pad, let me just remove my question there. <laughs> as you can see here on my quest pad, um, I need to be level 70 in order to uh, complete or in order to start that quest. So what can you do to get um, to level 70? So you don't have any quests to do yet and then um, yeah you are pretty stuck in this level right but um, one thing you can do is um, so this is tip number one um, complete the normal modes so each normal mode level will give you around 13,000 XP um, I'm not sure how much how big that is compared to what your level requirement is um, let's see if it's shown here nope it's not so uh, yeah just that that's tip number one complete normal mode um, if you complete a lot it will give you the needed experience points in order to proceed with your quest and get to your target level and another tip is um go to the quest button here at the bottom of your uh, screen near the bag so click on that one and then as you can see there's a red dot on my sub button or tab if you click on it you'll see the quests that give out huge xp just by uh, uh, talking to a person so for example let's search for one that this one is talk to Nicholas, so you just go there and talk to Nicholas, and then um, there's also this one talk to Hathor. So each of these sub uh, sub quests are like starting points to a chain of quests. So each sub quest, even though it says 3,862, it will give you 3,862 once you talk to Hathor, and then it will start the chain for that sub quest so let's try that one talk to Hathor and then let's move to Hathor see that um, it, it be, it's added here on your quest pad and then once you complete the initial quest um, sometimes it will start a chain of quests for you so let's see see that uh, it already gave us 3862 experience which is uh, very small <laughs> around 0.04 percent of our experience but yep um, that's just by talking to Hathor and then another one by talking to another person we get another 3862 which is Yep, gave which gave us another 0.05 percent of experience point but yeah just um, by completing all these quests you can actually get a huge amount of XP so with that uh, so we actually got around 1.3 percent um, of our experience uh, of our total experience uh, required to level up uh, just by talking to three people so that's another tip so remember uh, first tip is to complete the normal mode uh, here and then this one gives out around uh, 13,000 experience points I'm not sure if I've already said that but another one is also the ancient map if you have an ancient map um, this one uh, you can get uh, specific or random items but also the experience is also given out in this um, task 
uh, let's let's try it if we have enough resources I think it, this requires uh, vitality but I've not done it so much so maybe I'm wrong let's see Okay, so it's just a quest guys and then let's see how much it gives us how much experience it gives us just so you can see um, there are plenty of things to do in order to get unstuck from a level and you get to see my new stock battle <laughs> my new pet stock battle So as you can see here, uh, my my build for my pet uh, lineup is actually um, survival build. Uh, you, we will endure until um, higher turns so that we can get um, more energy per turn and then cast ultimates um, in an unlimited fashion. So we got 28,800 XP just by doing this. Uh, quest and hopefully we can get the map 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 oh we got the map piece so <laughs> yep that's the quest so all right nice so the the ancient map quest gives a huge amount of xp which is actually three per three point three percent of our um required oh looks like we have an empty hatchery here uh let's see which one should i i'll put the agoa family egg there so that i don't really like the hatchery because its chances of giving you good uh, stat pet and good rarity pets is kind of low so i always get b and c stats so anyway um moving on with our unstuck level guide <laughs> so um just a recap we have normal mode and then quests sub quests just pick out the the, the sub quest that gives out a lot of xp guys like i think 3000 is already a lot of xp so where is that one this one and then yeah sometimes you'll just need to talk to the Talk, talk to the NPC and then you, you get the items and also don't forget to retrieve the rewards um, if there's a if there's a red dot just get it um, another tip there that's not related to XP <laughs> and um, let's see I think uh, there's one more I did I forgot to mention or is that one? Uh, here here so um although i've used up all my advanced hunt advanced hunt um this this um part of the game also gives you a lot of experience guys just make sure especially if you are doing something else you can actually just go there and then join a party and then have the party leader do all the movements automatically so you don't have to do anything just wait until all your you can just join there and then yep after you join you just wait for the party leader to execute and then he'll do that automatically so here i am i'm at the top part so i'll just do auto as well actually i forgot to switch out my um attacker because this party looks like um, it has a lot of healers so I'm gonna switch out my attacker later on oh okay we can switch it uh, not, not that one um, oh it's not here yeah let's let's switch it after let's see I think we can switch it ah no we can't there's no lineup link here. 
Okay, that's another point to net marble. I I hope you put <laughs> the line up button here <laughs> so that we can easily switch in the next battle uh, and not wait for the battle to be over just to switch pets. Yeah, it would have been nice if they put the line up button here. So, uh, hello net marble if you're watching. <laughs> Okay, so let's just wait for this uh, battle to be over with guys and maybe I, sh I will pause the um, Recording here so that we don't waste too much time Okay, I, I unpaused it because I noticed something this party has a mercenary guys as you can see here uh, mercenaries uh, don't give out XP to the team so you are in a team and you're full of mercenaries then you can expect to have lower experience if you have mercenaries there but um, it's better to have a full team of people than to have mercenaries anyway mercenaries have very weak pets but they do sometimes have very large damage the, the mercenary trainers see that <laughs> The Wataka only healed for 75 points. <laughs> that's, that's a very weak mercenary right there. And mercenaries are bought by the uh, party leader. So the one who created the party and originally wanted to do the advanced hunt. So as you can see, I did not receive any more XP because all of my turns have been over so let's let me show you quickly how to switch just click on line up and then click on your pet and then move it oh, I did not make it <laughs> anyway we can always retreat so let's retreat uh, let's exit the party here do you want to retreat you'll retreat on your next turn okay so I'll, I've asked for re retreat because that's the end of our video guys um, just three tips in how to unstuck yourself when you are level stuck so first is uh, complete normal mode and then complete quests sub quests by picking out specific quests that give out large XP and then do ancient oh we have four do ancient map quest which gives out a large XP and then do um advanced hunt and then yeah my my final tip is to do normal hunt auto hunt this one because uh like like for example you are stuck now and then it's still it's already late in the evening you can always leave your phone playing until the next morning um just just don't expect to be connected when you wake up especially if it's it's already beyond like if you have the same time as the server it, it, the, the server resets at 6 a.m. and then you get disconnected but if you don't live in the same time zone as the server then um, that's good because you can just leave your uh, character playing all night long um, by using the auto uh, hunt feature and then the auto hunt um, the reason why you want to do that is so that uh, you can uh, take advantage of the collection quest uh, sometimes it asks you to collect a lot of materials which um, like for this one it wants me to collect white ferula flower and I actually did uh, uh, did, did this one while I was doing work so I just left my phone there and then focused on my work and chores and then so while it was playing it gained 87 white ferula flower so just auto hunt using that one and then I need to do it again tonight because I still need to do 120 after I complete the 100 white ferula flower flower quest so collection quest has a limit of 20 collection quests per week and then one change goal per day so so you can do this in order to get yourself unstuck as well so you might wake up you're already uh, level one level higher than while you are asleep 
uh, than before you sleep <laughs> uh, without doing anything <laughs> yep so that's it um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you continue watching my videos and if you have any questions or you want to ask tips for something related to stone age uh, stone age world then just put it in the comments i always read it and try to reply as fast as i can and yep thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one bye bye